and we want to tell you about the history of this place. My name is Lipiuna Ayu and I am the CEO and this is my crew. Hello, I'm Yustika. My name is Teddy Kurnia. I am Brentia Diningrum. I'm Stania Teresa. I'm Gracia Karawisan. This museum is located in Jakarta, Indonesia. This museum was formerly a cemetery built by the Dutch colonial government in 1795 as a final resting place for a noble Dutchman. This cemetery area is the oldest of its kind in Jakarta and may have been the oldest modern cemetery in the world. The cemetery was opened on September 28, 1797, although people had been buried here as early as 1795. The cemetery was known as Kebon Jahe Kober. The cemetery was built to accommodate the, uh, the increasing number of deaths that was caused by an outbreak of disease in Batavia. Kebon Jahe Kober Cemetery is located close to the river Kali Krukut. The river was once used as a transportation mode for carrying the dead to the cemetery via boat. After Indonesian Declaration of Independence, the park was used as a Christian cemetery. Within the first two years, it was managed by the Perberg Foundation and for the next 20 years, it was handled by the Palang Hitam Foundation. The location of Museum of Memorial Sloan Park is not far from the Monas, one of the most famous historical places in Indonesia. The two hearts are the first thing that visitors will see when they come here. After we buy a ticket, we will enter the gate of the main part of this museum containing the expanse of Thompson. The location of Museum of Memorial Stone Park is not far from the Monas, one of the most famous historical places in Indonesia. The two hearts are the first thing that visitors will see when they come here. After we buy a ticket, we will enter the gate of the main part of this museum containing the expanse of Thumbstones. Furthermore, if you look to the left side, you will see the statue of a woman who looks crying. From the legend story, this woman is very sad because she lost her new husband that married her for several months because malaria. Uh, eventually, this woman died by hanging herself because she doesn't strong enough to face her sadness. The main collection of the museum is the Dutch gravestone. Some of these come from the farmer New Holland Zeker. The location, which is now at the Waya Museum in Jakarta Old Town, the gravestone are marked with the inscription HK of Holland Zeker. The old gravestone is from the 17th century up to the end 18th century. The style of the gravestone ranged from Japanese Hindi style, negotic and classical. The gravestone are arranged on a park like a setting. The Jerry style main building in the front of the cemetery in building in 18 and 74. The building contains two wings to the left and to the right of the main building, which is used the entrance remains of males and females and they are around 12 area in the cemetery, starting from area A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and G. Other collection of this museum are ancient inscription stones, miniature of difference government from various uh, province of Indonesia, Arabical of 17th century hearse, and the original confis for Sukarno and Muhammad Hatta, the first president at the face of Indonesia. Here precisely in area I, there is a building called Bon House. This building is used as a storage of several bones that has to be relocated. This room is, is locked tight, so no one cannot enter this room for now. This room is originally is a family tomb from AJW Pendleton. Uh, he is a scribe in Eastern Indonesia and also served as a chairman of the OC Trek. Olivia died on 25 November 1914 and was laid to rest in Batavia. The remains of her grave are rather unimpressive, much more elegant and attractive in memorial. Commissioned by C. Reference in the Botanical Garden in Bogor, John Casper Leiden Stamston. Her husband, Lieutenant Governor Revels, made quite a name for himself. 
during the five years of the state worship in Java, he not only changed a large number of aspects of daily life. There is a tomb from Suhoki. Suhoki is a student movement activities who oppose the dictatorship of President Sukarno and President Suharto. His diary entitled The Note of a Demonstrator is inspired the making movie titled G. Suhoki, who co founded the Nature Lover Student of, in of University of Indonesia, died at young age while climbing Mount Samaru due to inhaling toxic fumes. He was buried in here, but when the tomb was relocated in 1975, the family chose to cremate his bones and spread it to into the top of the mountain of Pangrang. Once you visited this museum, you can immediately feel the serene and shade atmosphere. And as for the building, it looks old and neglected, and it is surrounded by many trees and bushes. So no wonder there are so many people that think that this place is a spooky place. And now I'm going to show you what is in front of this building. In front of this building, there are two old cannons on the left side and on the right side. This location are often, are often used for objective of photography. This museum is indeed very beautiful. The history, the tombstone, the park, they are very breathtaking. And as for the ticket, it's very cheap. It's, it's only for 5,000 rupiah per person. Now that you all already know the history, the next step is for you to come here. Because believe me, it is worth a try. If you want to visit here, we can travel with various types of vehicles, like private cars, motorcycles, or private public transportation. We must pay the ticket between 2,000 to 5,000 rupiah. And this place open for public from Tuesday to Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And just like other museum, this museum is keeps many historical stories that we should know and it has own characteristic because it is different from others and this place is thought as one of haunted place in Jakarta. So the atmosphere in here is a little bit creepy.